Hi, I'm Todd Keen with Active Power. You're standing in front of the Active Power Powerhouse Continuous Power Systems, and we're going to go on a little tour of the inside and the outside. So you're looking inside now in the UPS compartment. Um, this is the Active Power Clean Source UPS uh, system. This is uh, manufactured by us. It's a flywheel UPS system, so it's a static UPS with flywheel energy storage. You come in, you see the flywheel down here in the system. Uh, the flywheel provides 240 kilowatts of uh, critical power um, in the unit. The unit you're looking at here is 150 kilowatts of UPS power. Um, it's the smallest system we make, and we would make larger systems just by adding one of these cabinets to expand uh, to expand beyond that one as well. So what's the capacity of this unit? This, this unit is 150 kilowatts of critical power and a 200 kilowatt generator. Um, Let's see the other parts of it. Okay, so behind me here, this is the... Uh, uh, the control and telemetry section, the monitoring system and so on. We have uh, fire detection, a master EPO um, section for the system, uh, and this is uh, really the uh, um, the major part of it, a system-wide control panel and a telemetry panel monitoring all the status of the critical components um, as well as providing a unified uh, Modbus telemetry output to systems. We collect all the um, uh, all the telemetry from all the systems that can help with that as one, as one Modbus reg register to customers for access in their building management system. So it's a nice little convenience uh, for customers. Okay. Along this wall here is the uh, switchboard for the system, uh, ATS system uh, input, uh, 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 I'm sorry, sh short break output here, system input here, and the critical output uh, breakers down here, and a wraparound maintenance bypass for the whole system. We also offer optional 415 volt, uh, 415 volt distribution. Normally doing 480, but more and more we're seeing customers uh, asking for uh, 415 volts. Um, and we would put that little panel here. Doesn't add any space to the system. It's just an option that we can provide um, and uh, package it in. Okay. So, in what areas of the world have uh, these been deployed? Sure, we've deployed around 70 containers around the world in the U.S., uh, Mexico, South America, Europe. Uh, the UK and uh, um, and throughout Asia as well. So, uh, pretty wide footprint and uh, a lot of different customer deployments around the world. Um, I get. What's the time from a customer request to delivery? Uh, we average about 16 weeks from customer uh, purchase order through delivery to the customer site. Uh, some variability around you know component availability, but uh, generally uh, in that 16 week range. So it's. Uh, a nice, a nice quick solution. We can be building the the, uh, the container and putting installing the components while they're preparing the site, while they're getting their IT ready to go, so that it all comes together rather than doing things sequentially. And you can drive in an awful lot of cost, uh, time in your uh, deployment schedule uh, by having us do this in our factory rather than sequentially on your uh, construction site. Um, a lot of discussion here at Uptime has been about modular economies and, and what the costs are in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. How would you say modular power units compare to traditional power deployments? Right. It's obviously going to vary case by case, but we believe there's substantial savings from doing this in a, in a, uh, in a modular um, prefabricated uh, uh, um, setting. Um, primarily it comes around having the system be pre-engineered. Um, and working off of known specs and in, uh, in pre-designed systems, um, so that you know, uh, uh, you know, rather than doing everything custom and, and uh, uh, we're working off of things we know work together well in the past. The second one is we're able to use factory labor and factory um, uh, supervision rather than doing th things on site. We believe that drives out an awful lot of costs and reduce rework, uh, reduced uh, commissioning time, and so on, and it, it goes from there. So, uh, we a good bit of cost savings. Uh, your mileage may vary, but uh, typically a good story for us. Thanks. Okay, so this is the uh, generator compartment of the powerhouse. Uh, it houses pr its primary function is to house the diesel generator we, uh, we will supply as part of this one. We work with uh, our partners at Cummins and Cat and others, depending on customer preference, lead times, uh, price, a variety of factors, um, as well. This is a, a 200 kilowatt generator, um, a little bit smaller than we would normally deploy um, for the demo here at uptime, but. Uh, um, you know, we can supply up to anywhere between 500 kilowatts and two, and two megawatt generators, depending on the, uh, the customer's application they need. Um, the other piece of, uh, of, of primary technology in this room is the Active Power GenStart generator starting module. This device takes a, a feed from the output of the UPS to help start your generator. So, one of the leading causes of generator failure, generators not starting. Um, uh, in, a, in a demand condition is when the batteries are dead or some, or some other uh, starter power issue and we can provide the output power to that as a backup 
um, to you know, give you additional lines of reliability on a generator. Okay. Um, if you pan around a little bit, you will see that this is um, another example of the engineering we've done to the, facility, uh, to the uh, container. We're not just cutting holes in ISO containers, we're engineering um, an enclosure, um, doing, the thing with, uh, doing the right things with the uh, sound conditioning, the airflow, the intake louvers, and so on. Um, provide a little more sophistication and elegance um, than you can get out of a traditional ISO container. How can people find out more about Active Power? Uh, the best place to go is uh, activepower.com and then our continuous power solutions and the Powerhouse uh, brand name there. And they can get uh, photos of our deployments, case studies, uh, a couple white papers, and uh, the spec sheets on our systems, as well as contact uh, us so we can you know, arrange a sales visit and, uh, and get to work on your project.